many African countries, and countries in South America and the Middle East as well, even if it isn't the same context, but many countries where sometimes, despite an apparently ideal climate, there is no cool air at altitude to make rain. So countries with very little rainfall that have practically no fresh water in its natural state, but where there is still humidity and wind to feed the condensation system. The aim of this invention, this project, product, is to bring water anywhere to where people need it on a daily basis. So, I mean, simply by using wind energy, an autonomous machine, without consumables, which produces no environmental waste, making clean and drinkable water where people need to drink it, and making sure that these people are no longer ill or die from diseases caused by drinking water that's bad for their health. Making water with wind. The principle is very simple. It uses physical principles, which are all very well known. So first, you retrieve wind energy to make electricity. This is then used by a condensation system, which, by means of a fridge compressor, works like air conditioning, where humidity in the air is condensed. How do you create condensation? Well, by bringing a wall of the dew condenser to a lower temperature than the dew point. That's how we make drops of water. A little like you see every day in the bathroom when the mirror steams up. That's how it works. An inventor is generally a person who starts out in his shed by himself. Where it gets complicated is when you start looking for funding. You've got to know how to find the right partners, so it's really about being a businessman. As for me, well, I come from a technical background, so I wasn't really ready for that side of things, which is more a world of business in which you've got to fight for your idea. You also have to know how to avoid getting your idea stolen. It's complicated, getting your idea known and then selling it for a living. A patent gives me the status of an inventor, the official status. This invention is patented in many countries, in over 40 countries around the world today. It's an indispensable tool. Let's say it's part of what an inventor or creator has to do to get their project up and running. Without a patent, it wouldn't be possible to put in place an innovative solution like this one. Without a patent, you can't get investors, you can't get customers or people who want to buy the right to make this machine in different countries. They'll only do that if they have the guarantee, the conviction of having exclusive rights to a given technology. The goal, really, is to see people using this machine every day, drinking water from this wind turbine. Now that, that would be the culmination of this project well beyond the business or industrial considerations. Mm -hmm.